channel and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today I have a fun little trip out for some afternoon tea with um, a spa at King Street Townhouse. They've got a new spa that they've opened so we're gonna go check it out. So I thought I would pick up the camera and vlog today. Just have like a fun day with me. I do have a delivery that has just arrived. I have taken it down into the basement. So I think I might start there, show you those bits that have just arrived and then um, I want to actually go to Asda at some point this week to check out their new in autumn range which I have seen sneak peeks of online and it looks very impressive. So um, first things first, let me take you guys down with me. Um, I'm going to, I was trying to decide what to wear today so even though the heat wave is very much gone. I'm still cooling down from it, I'm not gonna lie. So it is forecast to potentially rain today, so I'm a bit like, oh, what to wear? I'm hot and sticky, I've been filming all morning. So let me share with you this, which I have visioned, and we'll see what you think. So here we are, what do we think? I got this from Primark, these shorts, linen shorts are M&S. And this knit vest top is actually Primark as well. So I might just throw on some trainers, like my Vasia trainers instead of sandals in case it does rain. Or I might just go sandals, get a taxi straight to the... Oh, in fact, I am getting a taxi straight there anyway. So yeah, maybe I'll go sandals, we'll see. But this is the look. Let's head on down into the basement. Let me show you my new parcels that have just arrived. This one usually follows me. There he is. <laughs> Hi, bud. <laughs> nice and cool down in the basement so I feel like whenever I'm down here he likes to come down with me well, I say that and he's stood at the top of the stairs so come down into the basement because I've just taken delivery of these boxes you may recognize that oh that cherries box on top they're actually all cherries so let me get you set up and let's do a big unboxing. If you haven't already heard of Cherries before, it is an app, well they do actually have a website online, but I always use the app, that you can shop, essentially a shop for all your household essentials. They do um, pet products, they do things for kids, they do outdoor garden bits, loads of cleaning bits, which is where I tend to get a lot of my cleaning items from, just because of the convenience more than anything. They have thousands of items, they add new in bits all the time. I do very kindly have a discount code from them as well. If you're a brand new customer, you can actually save 25% off your first order with the discount code FF25 and you get free shipping with that too. But if you are an existing customer, already have an account, already love them as much as I do, then I will give you a code for free shipping. It's simply FF at checkout and that is valid until the 7th of September. Again, link will be left in the description box below. Now let's get into the unboxing section. I might actually put some bits out on the side so that I can show you everything out and it's glory because there's a lot. Okay, I have just laid everything out and as you can see, there is quite a lot. So I've categorized it into, this section over here is more like home and kitchen. So I'll just run you through everything that I've picked up. Bear in mind that everything on cherries is very affordable, I will say that. So firstly, a Brita filter jug. Our one doesn't fit in the door of our fridge and it is honestly the most annoying thing ever. So we've finally switched out for one that does fit. Um, a little sandwich toasty maker. I haven't had one of these in years and I love making a toasty. Cheese cheese and onion the best a couple of instant barbecues got a chopping board some of these instant foil things this is a cute little spice rack that comes in this cork well i say spice but you could definitely put like this in the bathroom or something a cake stand which comes with the actual stand and the dome cloche as well some baskets and throws so this one is like a two-piece a smaller and larger one with this linen kind of inner liner which i love and it's just a wire basket a couple of cozy knit throws this is so soft by the way i've already felt it it's lovely a little lantern very white company style love that same with this seagrass basket i actually already have a couple of these so i thought i would pick up one more it just needs some stuff in it to shape it out but i think these are really handy to have in the um like my candle cupboard for instance, I've got one up there just to be able to store things in so it just makes it look a bit neater. Then I also have this which I thought was be would be quite fun. So it's just a, a little box of 
cards of 100 different yoga poses. So yeah, if you're looking to up your yoga game, I thought that'd be quite fun to do. A couple of other homeware bits, this little bud vase with some um, like dried plants in, some seagrass baskets. These are actually a pack of two as well. There's a smaller one inside there. That's a little sass and bell sun mirror. And then over here, we've got the kind of cleaning, a couple of miscellaneous items, just some chewing gum and dry shampoo. The fact that they do brands like Short Scoff is so good. So I just stocked up on another dry shampoo. I'm such a dry shampoo lover. And then I got this little swing bin. It's just a good size to have in here because we have a condenser dryer. It means that I have to empty out the water from here and on the inside, this bit gets filled with lint. There's lint in there, see? So it'd just be really handy to have a little bin in here and that'll just store away nicely in a cupboard or even just have it out just for convenience. And they did have different colors of that as well. I also have these storage tubs, let me show you. If we go into our storage room in our basement, I think Barney's spider hunting down there. What are you doing, bud? That is his new chest freezer that we've got all of his freezer food in, which is so handy. But yeah, in here we have these clear containers and they're so handy that I've got narrower shelves here, hence why I got the smaller ones from Cherries. And then also in this cupboard over here, we have a couple already, which again, fit really, really nicely into this cupboard. So it'll just be so handy to store things within here and then just slot them in nice and easily. So yeah, stocked up on some more of those. Are you following me? Are you following me? And then I swear by these Vermouche pet hair dissolvers. I only tend to use them in washers that have like his bedding, towels, um, throws that we use on the sofa, which he sleeps on. So yeah, you only get three sachets in a box. So I stocked up on a few boxes of those. Some fairy pods, some pet wipes, some Vanish Oxy Action. And then over this side, a couple more things. Got this little brush, which I actually thought would be quite nice sat out here. So I'm gonna leave this not quite sure how I'm going to style it. I might even get um, a smaller one of these to pop on the side with a square, you know, like you can get those like olive soaps and then just pop that next to it maybe. We'll see. Although it's more of a dish brush, isn't it? So it might be better in the kitchen. This as well is going to go straight in the kitchen. Four in one dish cleaning set. How handy is that to be able to have them all stored nice and neat and tidy and it's one of these refill ones as well and then this i just thought would be really handy now that we've got shutters it's a blind cleaner but i just thought they would fit quite nicely with shutters as well just to dust them off and then stocked up on some tumble dryer sheets and again now that we have a tumble dryer luxury that we never had before um i got a load more of those along with some unstoppables which i'm going to decant all of these um i actually have up here this jar has some of the tumble dryer sheets in already. So I'm just gonna pop them straight in there. The scent that I've already got in there is the same as that one, Spring Awakening. So yeah, it's just really convenient to be able to have them up here to hand. So I might pop some Unstoppables in here, but just thing is that they take up more room than that. So I might need a bigger jar. So thank you once again to Cherries for kindly sponsoring this part of today's video. I'm gonna pop all these bits away now. I'm actually, Gonna have to set off soon though, so I might not be able to get all of it done right this second. we go all clean and tidy i've popped those lenore um sheets in that glass jar and i'm gonna go find another one for the unstoppables i've just forgotten to mention as well i know just ignore the fact that we've not finished off these stairs yet into the utility room but i also picked up this doormat from cherries and it's just going to be really handy for like tradesmen or us for when we're coming in from outside at the minute currently whilst we've not sorted these steps yet just to have the doormat to be able to wipe our feet off. So yeah, that concludes my little Cherries haul. Make sure to take advantage of that discount code. And now let's head on back upstairs. 
and get ready and head off to the event. safe are you a good boy we take you on a nice long walk now yeah it's good to be home with my baby oh you're so big you're so big you're so big so come over here come over here good boy yeah lie down lie down okay oh god as i was saying um, got back home and they very kindly gifted us some items from today and honestly it was so insightful with Espa. Obviously I'm a big fan of their products anyway but um, we had a whole experience of smelling all the different scents, seeing which one stood out to us most which is if you don't know how they kind of work um, aromatic oils whichever one stands out to you most is what your body's craving so whether that be energizing soothing restorative and uh one of the ones it was quite interesting actually how the the lady telling us um all of the different oils how there's one that stood out to her as a oh no it's my least favorite how me nina lydia i think i really liked it too i think we were all saying that, that was one of our favorites so interesting the difference of um scents for aromatherapy oils i've actually got one on the go at the minute one sec yeah i thought it was this one this is the energizing aromatherapy oil which you can pop in your <laughs> barney <laughs> which you can pop in oil burners which i've got in our kitchen so it's a really nice energizing has lots of like uplifting smells which are great for <laughs> waking you up so good for in a morning to just pop a bit on your pulse points have a good sniff inhale the aromas pop it in your kitchen for your morning coffee but maybe not beside your bed at night the gifted us a box full of bits which i'm going to share with you now it's one of the hut group um products well king street townhouses as well actually who have just opened the new spa spa which is gorgeous by the way barney come out the way it is stunning the interior in there i'm gonna book me and tom in because it was just beautiful so they um showed us around the spa which is gorgeous nice new addition to king street townhouse they do have the pool for hotel residents on the top floor one of the top floors like a little infinity pool and sauna but now that they've got that spa downstairs it's just beautiful with like thermal rooms salt rooms therapy rooms for massages and facials all with a spa of course they did um yeah they kind of gifted us some products so this is actually a box full of the entire range of their uh, heritage scents so there we go that's all of them in their glory so there's rest full positivity restorative which is good for if you suffer with like anxiety and stress you know if you're the sort of person that wakes up at 2 a.m because you've got 10,000 things on your brain that's good for that um soothing energizing again like i said i've got in my kitchen it's nice and uplifting and bright and yeah just gives you that kick up the bum and then oh connection i don't remember smelling that one because I remember fortifying liking that i don't remember smelling connection connection is maybe we didn't smell that one let me give it a little whiff oh you know connection connection we definitely didn't smell because i really like that one so for me that and fortifying are really the ones that stand out fortifying strangely enough is one that you crave if you're feeling a bit under the weather 
or a bit um a bit low a bit um if you've been unwell recently um so yeah that was really interesting because when we were en route in i did say to lydia i was like god i just don't know if i'm feeling all right like i'm having a bit of a panic a bit anxiety induced feelings um i don't know if that's why i'm craving that one but it was funny how some of us were craving that is it the time of the year like that transitional period we're going from hot to cold and we're all just a bit like craving fortifying who knows but anyway they very kindly gifted us the full set there and then also in this box of other hut group hut group products um oh, let me just open it up and share with you so yeah king street townhouse is one of the hut group owned hotels and then along with all of these brands in here they're just they have some amazing brands they really do now this is a brand that i've never tried before actually um my friend nina said that she really got on with the product so it's from perico this is the little product that she said she really likes it's the cold plasma plus advanced serum concentrate and then they've also included this which is a ccc brightening under eye cream excited to try that this is another brand that i love mio now mama mio they have the whole pregnancy range and um, that's a tummy rub scrub but then this i love this is the liquid yoga space spray which if ever you want to just meditate have a bit of a switch off do some yoga spritz this on your mat before you do it and thank me later incredible i've absolutely loved using that in the past so i'm glad i've got a top up um ico have included a eyelash curler and lash mascara um oh another thing from pericone is this cold plasma plus concentrated sheet mask i'm going to try these two together actually um like i said nina said that she really likes that so we'll give it a try and then oh they've also included the vitamin c brightening cleanser then christoph robin this is a hydrating leave-in mist for your hair they do really nice um, hair care products there's again some more espa oils in here this is the restorative positivity and soothing and then last but not least from ameliorate this is the resurfacing facial cleanser so lots of stock ups of some faves some new in bits to try and i'm very excited i'm very grateful for such a lovely event um yeah these these events can be a bit anxiety inducing for me i don't know why it's the social probably element to it but when I get there, I have such a lovely time. I don't know what I worry about. Well, not worry, but I just get a bit, a bit anxious. I don't know why. I don't know. Any anything social related, I usually get some form of anxiety. But um, yeah, sometimes it just surfaces a little too much, and it did today. But then, as soon as I got in, in the uh, as soon as Lydia got in the taxi, she calmed me down, and we had such a good day. So I really, really enjoyed it. Thank you to them for inviting us. I am going to pop out. I need to do a bit of a supermarket shop. Fun times. So I am going to go to Asda. They have got some pumpkins in, I've seen. Some autumn bits. I'm going to take you guys with me. Not just to do a fun, not so fun, grocery shop. But also, whilst I'm there, I thought I would bring you and show you some new and fashion and home bits that they might have in that's worthy of vlogging. So I'll do that now um give barney a walk as well before i go tom's due back anytime now so he can he can maybe even take barney for another walk his ears just went when i said that word um spoil you wrong because i've left you for a couple of hours i don't like leaving him i'm not a kind of person to to leave him at home alone i'd rather put him in daycare because i was only going for a couple of hours i thought i'd just he had a nice long walk this morning and then um yeah just chilling you've just been chilling haven't you bud so yeah let's go to asda let's see what's new in and anything i do pick up i'll share with you when i get home And you 
home now I just need to get on with some cleaning bits I have got some bits which I will share with you just seen my bed and thought is anyone else with us on this we took out our duvet during the heat wave and we're still cooling down and honestly it's actually quite refreshing to go to bed when it's sort of 20s late teens 20s with just a sheet so if you haven't ever tried it try it you might even cuddle your partner in the middle of the night if it gets a little bit cool or maybe not <laughs> but this is um this bed sheet is from magic linen you can see the little tab there magic linen um but i really like this duvet it has on the each of the corners on the inside a little like ribbon tie which is really useful for being able to pop your duvet in and it not shifting because there's nothing worse than like one section of the duvet cover getting no duvet in it and then you feel like you're fighting for the duvet when really you just need to shimmy out the duvet. My first world problems, I know. But here we go. Yeah, I've got all the windows open this um, this afternoon. I'm gonna do a little bit of a spruce, a little clean, particularly the bathroom I'm gonna tackle. I feel like when I get a new cherries order, I have this kick up the bum to get on with some cleaning. I don't know what it is, but it's all the new products and the excitement that yeah, just spares me to do a bit of a clean. So I've needed to get the bathrooms done for a while. So I'm gonna show you me doing my bathroom. That's interesting to you or not. Keep watching if it is. I have a ranking list of cleaning jobs. Bathroom is always at the bottom. I can't stand cleaning the bathroom. Everywhere else, I don't mind. But bathrooms are just not that nice to clean. But anyway, I'm gonna have a quick spruce up in my bathroom. And then I will probably make myself a nice cozy drink, put my feet up and share with you some of the autumn bits that I picked up from Asda. Christmas has started to come in the stores, hence why I start autumn so early because it's my favourite. I prefer autumn to Christmas. I do like both. But autumn doesn't last very long because before you know it, Christmas stuff comes out as well. And I just want to enjoy the autumn for as long as possible. So yes, let's get on with some cleaning feel better for it afterwards and do that whole like once you've cleaned your room you just keep going back in it just to admire the cleanliness and then I'm gonna make a coffee and share with you some bits that I picked up from Asda I still believe I'll see you again 
something that matters, matters to me. But what do you want? What's your biggest need? Every hour we spend together, and sudden coffee in hand. Time to relax and unwind it always feels so much better after you do a clean i'm like hair up sweltering whilst doing it but feels good now that it's done so i thought i would share with you finally those bits that i did pick up from asda the one that i went to was the trafford center one it's quite a big one actually their upstairs section is I think it's the same size as the floor plan for downstairs pretty much it's pretty big they've got like loads of like in the style clothes they used to do i don't know if they still do i didn't see any this time but secondhand repurposed designer clothes like ralph lauren um levi's jeans that kind of thing all at asda so yeah i did spot these <laughs> From the freezer section little moods have brought out some new flavors this one sounds amazing belgian chocolate and hazelnut so i had to grab these i have seen on their instagram that they now do golden blonde chocolate i have to get my hands on those so if anyone sees them please let me know where you've seen them and i'm running out the door straight away to go buy them because golden blonde caramel flavored chocolate one of my faves and what else there was another flavor that they did iced cafe latte so if, if you see the iced latte or the golden blonde chocolates, let me know where you've spotted them. But our Asda did have the Belgian chocolate and hazelnut. I think Tom would like these ones actually. He's a chocolate ice cream kind of person. This is one of my favorite purchases from today. This gorgeous cushion, this gorgeous pillow, which says snuggle season on it in this gorgeous like terracotta burnt orange color will be perfect for autumn. My theme this year that I'm going for is understated because we don't have a downstairs to decorate. We just have the basement and bedrooms, which seasonally I don't really tend to do that much decorations upstairs, just the odd thing here and there. It's more like a ground floor thing for me. And because we are yet to renovate our ground floor, I have all these gorgeous Halloween and Christmas and spring bits I've not really been able to be decorating with. So what I might do is do our, our basement a bit of a autumnal decoration this year. So we've got our gym, which has actually now become a cinema room. So we're gonna get some nice bean bags in there, make it all cozy, the dog bed, big rug. So I'm gonna put this, I think, in the dog's bed. Um, I just think it would be a nice addition in there. And it's small enough to go in the wash as well. So if he does get his slobber on it, that's okay. And um, that was eight pounds. And then I got this matching duo, which I think I'm gonna pop, it, pop in our utility downstairs. So this would be good in a bathroom as well, but all our bathrooms upstairs have gold hardware, whereas this one's got a silver pump. It's one of these soap dispensers and tumblers that sit side by side. There are pumpkins, they're so cute. And they're like a speckled white. This is definitely the theme that I tend to opt for, more of like a white, bright glass, farmhouse style, lots of wooden colors, muted down, rusty oranges rather than bright ones. So. Yeah, these I think are gonna go in our utility room as a bit of a temporary decoration. I've got a tea towel for in there as well, which I'm gonna throw over the Belfast sink. Um, so I'll do maybe a decorate with me for autumn video nearer the time, but for now, we're just shopping the autumn bits. We're not actually putting them out just yet. Um, and then I've got this rattan pumpkin. Oh, these were, by the way, I think they were five pounds and three pounds. And then this one was also five pounds. It's a little rattan pumpkin. Now they call it rattan pumpkin. It's actually not, it's just a rattan look pumpkin. And then I stocked up on some of my faves. I now have a whole candle cupboard downstairs in the utility, which I have a box for my wax melt. So I thought I would stock up. These were the only three in Cuddle Up. If you find Cuddle Up, stock up so they do them at three for five pounds or i think it's two pounds each and cuddle up is the best scent that they do they've got all of the autumn scents they've got caramel waffles pecan pie all sorts of stuff like that but 
this smells insane all year round. It's Tonka and Oud. And then I saw this from their Just Wellness by George range. It's a home fragrance range which has reed diffusers, candles, and then this is one of their home sprays that they've got in the Relax scent. It's not really a scent that I would go for because the white iris, but it's got citrus in it. And when I smelt it in store, it's actually quite vibrant and quite potent in terms of the citrusiness coming through. So I really liked it. It's just a scented room spray, contains natural essential oils. So I'm just going to use this to spritz um, linens, rooms, bathrooms would be really nice with that one. That's another little tip as well for those oils that we got from Espa is to pop a few drops on the bottom of your shower, run the hot water, run the water until it gets hot and it kind of fills your entire bathroom. The steam from the essential oils make it smell amazing. So I'm actually going to pop out one of the oils in my shower so that I remember to do that every single time I take a shower now. Um, I got some treats for Barney, just got some Webox sticks. Um, I tried to find the, on a whim once I gave him the Licky Licks, which there's always cat Licky Licks, but I've never seen the dog ones until recently. Picked one up, he loved them. I think they're his favorite treat ever. I mean, they go in two seconds. But ever since then, I've not been able to find them. So maybe I'll just have to buy some online. But yeah, Asda only had the sticks, not the um, the Licky Licks, which she seems to love, like I said. Um, I got some peanut butter. I got the Sun Pat Extra Crunchy Banoffee flavored peanut butter. I thought this would be a nice addition to um, toast. <laughs> for if I'm feeling like a bit of a sweet fix, because sometimes I, or like sandwiches, I quite often do peanut butter and jam. I like that sweet mixed in with peanut butter, so I'm excited to try that. Crunchy banoffee, yum. Then I got some tea. I've seen the three ginger. Oh my God, this smells so good. Oh, this is a bit of me. I love cinnamon, anything cinnamon flavored. Apple cinnamon crumble is probably my favorite ever dessert ever, all time. So yeah, cinnamon, I'm a big fan of. So I've tried the pucker apple and cinnamon ones. They didn't have any in store um, this time around, but I got the three cinnamon. And then because they were on offer two for whatever, I ended up picking up this one. I would have gone for apple and cinnamon, but like I said, they didn't have any. And I thought I would try this, nighttime. I'm a cereal, diet coke in an evening kind of drinker. I do get the caffeine free ones, but I do have one every single night. And I feel like I should maybe replace the odd one with a tea to kind of fill me up, be wholesome, but not constantly have Diet Coke. Cause I'm not lying when I say every single night I have one, at least one. I do try to limit myself to one, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah. Um, and then last but not least, I got this from Lenore. They now have, if you've tried the Outdoorables, which I love, they've got a whole new range. They've got fairy Outdoorables, they've got a load of new scents. This one in particular, I smelt and loved, and it's called Northern Slice. I, I thought this would, would go quite nicely into winter as well, um, because the Outdoorables basically mimics your clothes being hung out on the line. And I would definitely have my clothes out on the line. Someone commented recently saying, why are you using your dryer or hanging stuff out in your house when it's gorgeous outside? It's because of our builders. I love nothing more than hanging out my washing in spring, summertime. It's one of my little pleasures in life. However, I've not been able to do it this year because we don't have a space in the garden that doesn't get covered in dust every single day. And yeah where our old line used to be, it now doesn't exist because we've extended onto that section. So we'll have to figure out a solution once the extension has been finished. Until then, outdoorables it is. Um, but yeah, this is Northern Solace, Solstice, sorry. I don't know what I said before, but I definitely didn't say that. Um, it is fresh, airy, energizing, crisp notes of fir and pine, which you know I love, transport you to a snow-covered woodland cabin as the sky fills with the magic of northern lights. How nice does that sound? So I'm gonna close off today's video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed spending the day with me. I don't really have much else planned. I've just got um, maybe a walk and some dinner later and a bit of admin and editing and stuff like that to do. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you have and subscribe for more. And just a reminder again to make sure to take advantage of those Cherries discount codes. I will leave them in the description box linked below. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.